I've asked the expert, a lot of people complain about belly fat, but we're going to work on that today. Yes, Garrett Stangle from Orange Shoe in Whitefish Bay joins us live this afternoon. So tell us, this is really about just little things we can do to just kind of get stronger in our core. It certainly is. We want to lay the foundation. Um, you know, the pounds don't just melt away, they really have to be worked on. And in order to do that, you have to have a good base. Okay. We're going to try to move forward so, here. We're talking about the abs, right? You know, I mean, yeah. the abs is where it's all at when it comes to the core. So it seems like it, it's, a, it's a constant thing. You almost have to work on it every day. You've got some things to Yeah, show us, us. show us some of the things. Absolutely. Okay. We're, every day we're working against it. Or every, as long as we sit at a chair, right. our abs That's get weak, problem. our butts get weak, and everything right. else gets tight. So yeah. now we're going to try and apply something to actually help fix that. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, one of the very simplest exercises we can do is even just an ab vacuum. And you can do it standing or you can lie it down. Uh -huh. We're just sucking in the abdomen, pulling the belly button in nice and tight, and you'll feel the tension cr that you're creating as you do that. Okay. okay. That back should I mean, be even, even standing up, you could work on even that. Even standing up, sitting in the car, at work, wherever you yeah. are, you can apply this exercise. Right. And the, flat, uh, the back should be flat? It's nice to have the back flat, yeah. um, or at least neutral. You don't have to force it down necessarily. Yeah. You can just pull the abdomen in, and you can feel it working. So that's the easy part. That's the easy part. <laughs> and now once you do that, so and this you got a little roller here on your feet. I've right? got a little roller here, and I'm going to use up. the roller. Yeah. If, if someone's just starting out, I'd have them do it without the roller. But mm -hmm. sucking the abs in mm -hmm. and trying to lift their hips up as high as they can. Right. Okay. Okay. So that may not be, seem hard to do, but the importance of it is? The importance of it is, is that we're working to stretch the low back, stretch the abdomen, right. I'm sorry, stretch the hips, strengthen the abdomen, strengthen the butt, which collaboratively is going to help give a good strong I feel abs. like a lot of people, too, don't know how tight their hips are, you know, until you do some of those exercises. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah so the hip flexors, what's that? The hip flexors is really what's allowing us to raise and lower mm -hmm. our knees. And as you sit behind a desk, as you sit in a chair for long periods of time, those things tighten up on you. The low back tightens up on you, and it really leads to a lot of the back pain that people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. So what's the best way to s sort of do that, to get to those hip flexors? Just that move there? So, or so that move right there, yeah. and then we can add in another one here to help stretch out that lower back okay. where you're working to rotate. Okay. Oh, Allowing yeah. those knees to drift, keeping your shoulders down. Yep. And that combination is going to help take a lot of tension out of the low back. Mm -hmm. So these almost seem like stretching exercises. They do seem like stretching exercises, but each one of them, you've got to contract muscles in order to make them happen. So um, you really get the benefit of building strength and building flexibility as you do them. Uh, okay. Always concerned, you know, for people that have lower back issues about that twisting and turning. So what's your sure. thought process there? Well, and that's why we start by sucking in the abs. That's, okay. that's activating transverse abdominis really deep inside there, and it's a le lesser known place. Yeah. We're always starting with crunches and things like that. Yeah. We really want to make sure that we've laid the foundation before we start working on the layers. Any balance? Weren't you going to do a balancing one? Absolutely. Too? So another another great one is really to apply it as we have, um, we've we've created established the core. Now we're going to work on applying it as we'd use it. So just balancing on a single leg is going to be a place to start. And if you're pushing that foot forward, you can feel. And pushing the foot back, you can feel how your weight is shifting. Right. It's activating right. the hips. It's activating yeah. your core. Balance. As we all go tumbling now. <laughs> we all go tumbling down. Absolutely. We all right. have to tumble out of here. All so right. Well, thank you, you for question. joining us. Yes. Thanks thank for you. having me.